Welcome back everyone to episode 11 of the Iran series and last episode we were making a number of uh, different policies to help try to balance out the economy. Um, we have a surplus or excess of 25.9%. Um, unfortunately our growth has gone down to negative 0.67 but we can definitely get out of that. Um, now, the biggest problem is our inflation has shot back up to 40.15. Um, that's definitely not a good thing. Even though we have a surplus, that's not balancing out our economy the way that we want so, let's go to the tax exemptions for companies, and we're going to hit a total exemption, opposed to partial. We could greatly improve our healthcare system if we had a larger budget. I ask you to consider this issue. The health of our people should be one of our top priorities. And we're running for office um, again. Well, let's look at our taxes to see what else we can do. Um... Well, first, let's go to industry. Let's go to aeronautical construction. We're going to take away the exoneration we were given that sector. And we're also going to change this to 400 million. And let's go to Secret Service, and we're going to increase counterintelligence and max it out with two stars. And we're also going to hire more cyber analysts, which is going to cost us about $135 million. Now let's look at our... Special agent, we're going to put him in Saudi Arabia. And we want to increase our international agents. It's going to cost us about $4 million. And let's, let's just go ahead and infiltrate this organization now. Our agents that have infiltrated this organization confirm their window of opportunity. It goes without saying that the operation is risky, but if successful, the short and long-term benefits are almost incalculable. And we're going to wait a little bit longer to uh, take care of that. And we have so many military bases i'm going to actually start closing some of them i mean look at this it's there's way too many in this area here even though it's probably yeah there there's no threat in the caspian sea so let's look to close about Let's look to close two of them for right now. The decree takes effect as of today. So... 
Gonna send them there. Missile launchers, I'm actually going to send to... Alright, that's not going to work. So... Let's just send it to this base that's close by. And this base here. I'm going to send them to that one there. So this should save us some money because we also need to modernize our our uh, military equipment. So the stronger we get as a nation economically, the more the more steps we're going to have to take to uh, protect it. Let's bump that up some. So we're going to dismantle this space. So we should be done within about five months there. And let's dismantle this one. That should be done in about four months. So that should save us some money in the long run. The decree takes effect as of today. Okay, so Turkey is going through an earthquake. Let's, uh... Because we want to build up stronger relations with Turkey. Alright, so that did it. Um, we definitely wanted to build a stronger relation with Turkey since Turkey is the uh, most powerful Islamic nation in the uh, region here. So, Our agents that have infiltrated this organization are still operational. Do you want to try to dismantle the operation? Let's go ahead and try that. All right, so now we're going to ask for a meeting with uh, with Turkey. And... really want to build a uh, naval base in this area here. I'm looking at maybe this area. The decree takes effect as of today. All right, so let's take a look at... All right, so our growth hasn't really changed too much, but inflation has gone down a little bit, so... We want to encourage that a little more. So the tax on large fortunes, we're going to change that to 6.3. All right, 
and then let's go to the service sector and let's see so we want to invest more into uh our tourism So let's add another billion dollars to that sector. Don't necessarily want to exonerate them as of yet. I may do that in the future. So, transportation. Let's invest in the uh, bike path. And for secondary highways, we want to invest about 250 miles. And then for housing. We're going to rehabilitate uh, 10,000 more homes. Let's go to farming. So bananas, we're going to invest about 50 million. I'm going to start off slow with that. Um, let's see. Let's take a look at cereals. See how much. Okay, we have more than enough. So with cereals... Increase that to a 9% reduction. That's about $52 million. Um, what about rice? So rice, we're not producing enough. So let's change this to $450 million see how much that changes it didn't change that much but it still went up and our sugar beets so and yeah, we have more than enough there Sure. Dark and strong, please. Let's see if they need anything. So let's try coffee. Let's see if... Okay, we could... Definitely sell them that. Um, let's just settle for that. It's a little bit less, but there's going to be a catch to that because and do a non-aggression act. And so we shouldn't have to worry about them attacking us if uh, 
we get into some altercation with NATO. Let's see if about maritime can we at that we don't necessarily want them as an ally because then we're going to feel obligated to uh jump into whatever conflict they get in militarily and our military isn't strong enough so very kind that served this purpose and we're going to leave it at that look at unemployment unemployment is down to 8.4 let's check to see if we have any growth we still don't so let's go to our industry sector first to support our agriculture let's see if we have enough Order networks, and we do. Uh, tire industry. Let's bump this up to 500 million. What's our workforce looking like? So, we have 177 employees. Let's bump that up to... 250. All right, synthetic fibers. Have enough of that. Steel, we're not making our, uh, not meeting our demand, so. Actually, let's just make that an even 200. Our infiltrated agent was spotted and murdered. Our agents that have infiltrated this organization confirm their window of opportunity. It goes without saying that the operation is risky, but if successful, the short and long-term benefits are almost incalculable. All right, we'll keep them in there. All right, so let's go to research now. Um, all right, everything. All right, we still have three. Still have three centers being built. So let's go to space research. Let's go to physics of universe to see how much that's going to cost. It's 73 million, which isn't bad. Um, let's hire a few more employees here. The decree takes effect as of today. All right, so... Still no growth. Um, let's look at our inflation is going down now. Okay, so we don't have enough research centers, so. Let's do another three and the laboratories. Let's go with about 25 more laboratories.
Okay, so that quick unemployment went down to 8.07, where it was at 8.49 before. So let's look at our military now. Um, see if we can. Let's see how many tanks we can make. Uh, let's go with 10. And it will be ready by April. So let's do that. And we're going to do another 10. And this time we're just going to do seven. We're going to dismantle 50 tanks there. The decree takes effect as of today. Our agents that have infiltrated this organization are still operational. Do you want to try to dismantle the operation? All right, let's give it a try. So let's go. All right. So we're finally starting to see some growth. Let's look at our inflation. Inflation's still going down. Look at our taxes and see what else can we do. So inheritance tax. Increase that a little bit. Social security payments. Let's see. So we'll drop that down a little. And let's take a look at our energy. So, okay, we have a surplus. That's what... Okay, unemployment went back up a little bit. Let's see what else we can do to stimulate some growth. Let's see, do I really want to... Do... Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to wait a little bit longer before I make that kind of decision.
All right, and let's go back to housing and do a do another ten thousand. All right, and for energy, let's go with, uh, let's go with two gas wells. Should be ready in about four months. All right, so we'll put one there. And another one there. And that's it. So let's look at our crime rate here. Alright, is crime spiking or is it going down? It's not going down quite enough. So... Let's go with about 10,000 cameras, which is only going to cost us about 1.5 million. See how that's going to be perceived. All right, so we'll put that through. Of course, we'll get in a protest because of that. I'm just going to send the military in to deal with that. We are waiting your instruction. The rioters. The rioters. The rioters have taken. Our drones are operational and ready to complete exploration and reconnaissance missions against the enemy. We can also program them with extremely precise targets and use them for strategic bombing operations. And all this without risking our soldiers' lives. It's a panacea. We m The rebels have set up a barricade. The rebels have stopped fighting. Okay, so... Let's look at our drone production. Which is that going to cost us? The decree takes effect as of today. All right, let's look at finance. Okay, inflation is still going down. That's exactly what we want. We have subdued the rebel movement. The decree takes effect as of today. All right, so we're going to give a raise to research. And... Research and health. Sit down with Japan, negotiate the interest rate. Let's sit with the US and the UK.
take a look here. So the economy is doing a little bit better. Um, let's move this up to index length uh, rent increases. You are giving our country. Very well. What kind of offer do you wish to make us? Very well. We accept your offer. Sure. You're not. All right. Um, let's see. All right. Growth is still going up. It's not by a whole lot but at least it's going up and after all it's still february um i think i'm going to end this episode once again thanks for the support feel free to hit the like button subscribe and i will see you soon